Just got a software update on White Knight. It is 2019 16.2. Here are some of the release notes. So some improvements on driving visualization. This is uh, what the car displays here in the autopilot screen. A little smaller on mine because I have a Model S or uh, actually a Model X. On a Model 3, of course, you got that large strip on here. So the visualizations, you guys will really like that. Some sentry mode improvements and some software update preferences. Let me show you some basic stuff here. So now we get a sentry mode icon right here in the toolbar. Pressing that turns it on and off on whim. Otherwise, you can go into uh, settings here and you can go down to safety and security and you can now turn sentry mode on and now you have three check boxes. So basically turning sentry mode on Make sure that sentry mode is always active. You do not have to turn it on and off anymore. It's just automatic. Except they give you three exclusions. Exclude from home, exclude from work, and exclude from favorites. That has to do with entries or addresses you've put into your home, your work, that's in the navigation system, and anything you've set as a preference. So you can exclude those if you don't need it. Let's say you're parking in an underground garage or something like that. Although I do recommend you turn that on. Anyways, next one here is under software. Got a new slider right here, standard or advanced. So pressing the I reveals that uh, my car will receive regular over-the-air updates. Uh, select advanced and if you'd like your car to receive new software updates as soon as they become available. So I'm gonna, definitely going to turn that on because I like to live dangerously. Other than that, uh, not much else. There probably some other improvements and stuff, but as soon as I find them, I'll let you know. But so far, uh, so, uh, some nice updates <clears throat> that will make this car even better. Yay, Tesla. Keep it up, guys.